C++ is hard and Python is easy, says no expert developer. This is an argument for people who are just starting out. Now when building actual system, both of these are required in robotics development but C++ is preferred. And in this video we are going to look into why it is essential for robotics and not the reason that C++ is hard and that's why it is in robotics. No, that's not the case, but actual capabilities of C++ and hardware interaction as well. Let's first verify the claim from LinkedIn jobs. We have a robotics engineer job in Austin on site and the job title is robotics engineer. They are looking for the skills of five years in C, C++ experience, Python experience and ROS and LiDAR experience. So first they said C and C++, then comes the Python for prototyping. Obviously visualization is Python is easier than C++. Coming to the next one, robotic software engineer perception and it is remote Clarksburg. They are looking for modern C++ and Python. So always you will see that C++ is preferred and as you might experience in the interviews if you have given C++ is the first thing they ask for and they test your understanding according to that. Let's look at one more example. Senior robotics engineer DICE and they are looking for proficiency in C++, Python and experiences real-time operating system. Now in robotics you will always experience that real-time operating system is written which mostly stands for RTOS because robots are nothing else than machines with a brain and that brain is required to perform efficiently as the cost increases as the power of computation increases so keeping the lower computational power we have to be efficient in our executions and that is where the decision between python and c++ comes let's take a look on to harmonic some example where we can understand the difference in execution what is a harmonic sum? This is the graph of harmonic sum. It is nothing else than this formula. 1 divided by a number on which we will start the loop and we will go to 1 million. This is the summation that we will do. So in general, its graph's value decreases along the y. And on the x, it is the summation or the loop value. Now in C++ and Python, both I have written the code and it is going for 1 million on both of the sides. And we are going to be just printing out time elapsed to run the loop and then give an elapsed time count. So when the harmonic sum function is called with 1 million, it is going to calculate and return the sum. So when it returns, value is going to be produced. Now first let's run C++. It says 3.50061 milliseconds. And if I run Python, it says 96.64 milliseconds. If you make change in the value of harmonic sum and sort of we doubled the amount. Let's run it again. Now it says 9.86 milliseconds in C++ and in Python, it also went double 182. In both of these, we can see a big difference in computational time. Although this is a very simple and basic example to understand when it comes to the for loop and the division, that is what happened. But let's take a look into another example. And this is to just show you an important aspect of Python. We are just summing up the values of the numbers, right? It is going to sum up to 1 million range and in Python, we are using loop and loop always creates a lot of problem and it is going to just count a lot of values and then print out. Now if I run do this just summation you can see it has done very fast and it is just using 0.01 second. To understand this thing this sum function of python is implemented in C and that is why it is that much fast. So this is the basic comparison. Let's move to more important things where we can actually see the value. In both Python and C++, we have an example where we initialize an array. In Python, we have the list of 1000 MB of size. We run this code and it says memory allocated and program ended without explicit frame. For this, it also does the same. But what is the issue here? In Python, what happens is whenever this code exits, the memory of 1 GB almost is taken back to the system. Now in C++, the same thing happens, but in actual applications in real world, you might be writing code that never ends. Then what will you do? Your code is going to hold 1 GB of memory for all of the time and garbage is going to be there. So you have to clear up this garbage when it is not being used. In our case, if I do this, 
delete array it is going to delete the array that we have created one gb of memory allocated doing some code execution and then deleting the array that's what we can do in c in python we can do the same thing with the use of this underscore underscore del and we can delete the objects of the class but the way it deletes is it just dereferences it the garbage collector like an operating system then reclaims the space but in c we have more explicit way and this is more efficient because programmer knows where to deallocate a certain memory that he does not need let's look at another example in c where it acts like python but it is more of efficient as in python automatic garbage deallocation is done in c we can do that with smart pointers now smart pointers are again controlled more as compared to the python way in smart pointers what happens is you define the scope if i run this code we can see a class is created and a class is destroyed when the scope ends this smart pointer utilized to express the class gets deleted and memory is managed more efficiently so in simple words c plus plus dealing with the memory allocation is more efficient in which our code has to run for very very long times and memory allocation becomes an important aspect for the developers suggested path is obviously first go python and then c plus plus because python is readable easy to understand but as we move forward in projects and in our experience in our development we see that it's not about the language only it's about understanding the framework and structure like ROS and how communication and how to intercommunicate with different frameworks this is important to understand so the main focus of every robotics and hardware developer should be c plus plus